Your turn. Thanks, douchebag. Welcome to Button Jam. Welcome to Trash Panic. Let's go. Let's do this. Oh, God. A whole bunch of stuff fell. Rain and, rain and crap. Yeah, rain and garbage. That's, that's this game. And it's up to you to save the world from trash. From trash. From trash. Ooh. Let's just get right into it then. That jazzy music. Oh, yeah, there it is. Uh, you're gonna want sweets, Mo. Trust me. <laughs> I was like, what's this one? Hell no! <laughs> hell no! <laughs> oh, hell no indeed. Jeez. It's it's a tough game, and you might as well just take it from the easy difficulty. Is he going to tell me how to play? Uh, no. Oh. I guess I should have done that. Yeah. Okay, so what you have is circle and X, rotate the trash, right? Right. And uh, you have... Uh, oh, God. Brian, can we pause and adjust that sound? <laughs> it's a little bit loud. <laughs> Well, not too far down. You want to be able to hear. Because music in this game is pretty jazzy. It's got that groove. Yeah. Do it up. And I take it down to just... Uh, down or trying. Oh, wait. Up or trying. Down. Oh. Down helps you just move it down slightly. Ah. So things smash a little bit better depending on how you smash them. Like, you want to smash the glass side of that bulb. Yeah. Uh, that is a special item. Don't break that or you're fucked. So just bring it gently down to the bottom. All press right. like Press like down and you yeah. just bring it down. You, you won't smash it if you just press down. Oh, okay. And that little guy will come and pick it up and... Uh, in the meantime, smash that bulb. Oh, I messed up. You didn't really mess up. Uh, the way this works, see, a big guy gives you a thing that'll help you for disposing of that uh, ring properly. Ah. So what happens, right? Yeah. Um, because this is, again, I believe the Havoc engine, things that are already broken do not uh, make good for smashing things on. Right. So you want to smash your stuff on things that have n not broken yet. Don't smash that or it'll bounce out. Because again, physics. Right. Bouncy ball bounces. Who would have guessed? <laughs> uh, smash that on that Daruma. Woo! Yeah. And you want to break everything down as much as possible. Including the Daruma. Yeah, you got to break everything. <laughs> Because you, you have to be able to fit all the trash they're going to give you into this spot. I see. Into, you know, the can. Yeah. Yeah. Break that ball. So another sort of uh, trick is to try and smash things in a way that uh, you won't end up with those shards on top of, like, the larger objects. Because, again... Shards, for some reason, do not make good for smashing things on. Mm. Uh, another trick is you press L1 to swap with that hold area, right? Right. So, if you don't want a particular large item at the moment, or if you don't want it at all, because that guy will come and swip, swap whatever is in the hold spot, with, you know, a more useful item. I see. Uh, he'll just get rid of whatever's already there. So, if you had held onto one of those multi nai right? Yeah. And then brought it back down now. By the way, should have probably smashed that cup with the flask. Ooh, yeah. Uh, also, erasers don't break. Of course. But yeah, you could have put that dumbbell up there and then had him swap it out for something else. 
like, uh, I think he just gives you batteries in this. Smash that friggin... Uh, another thing is, you have like that barbell in there, and that's really good for smashing things against, but also, it's a tough item. So you wanna break, well, I guess you just broke it with a teapot, so not Somehow. That Again, uh, sponges don't break. Right, they so I should not. not have covered up the Daruma. Yeah, now that Daruma is just there, and you can't break it. Unless, there is one more control I need to explain, and that's when you shake the, uh, the controller. Um, try shake it the other way. There you go. I don't know why. Oh, it's shifted a little bit. Yeah, it reminds the Havoc engine that there is gravity. <laughs> and you can kind of use that to hopefully try and jimmy things a little bit. Mm. <sighs> Break it against, yeah, that knife handle. You want to get that knife down. It's the only thing you can break things against right now. Mm. That knife battery area you have going there. Yeah. Oh, is that better than I thought? Yeah. Uh, maybe flip it. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, there we go. There you go. Break that pen. You just want to constantly be breaking shit against other shit. Right. Oh, uh, 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 oh, oh, okay. oh. Ooh. That's another thing. You wouldn't think so, but things also have a depth to them. So things like pencils and stuff can just slip past other things. And it's not too bad now, but it can get annoying at higher levels mm. when you don't know for certain what kind of depth something has or you try and break something against something else, and it just slips by it. Right. Yeah, so try and cram that sponge somewhere where it's not, yeah, like where it's not gonna get in the way. I might be in a little bit of trouble. A little bit. Uh, that number in the bottom right there kind of, sort of represents how much trash you have remaining. Mm. Uh, I have no idea how that number works, other than it might be weight-based or something. Hmm. Troubling. I think that's what that number is, at least. I have no idea. There's some, like, weird things to explain. Uh, for instance, those lights above the name over there, right? Yeah. Those represent different things about the object that you're holding. Right. Uh, mostly just, like, the main thing I think to use it for is later on you have things that contain water and stuff like that. Right. And so you want to keep an eye out for the water icon. Um, let's see, what else? Of course, over there in the lower left is your score. Yes. That becomes important not right now, but later. Mm. Jam it in there. Oh. So one of the ways to trick the Havoc engine into not, like, bouncing sponges and stuff like that around, right? Yeah. Is that you smash it when it gets down to the bottom. I see. Starting to get toward the end of the trash, but on the other hand, uh... On the other hand, I'm in a bit of trouble. Yeah. You don't... You're not breaking things. Like, I would've broken that bulb... Broken that bulb against that cup. That's also a good thing. Break that hamburger against that cup. That makes no sense, but okay. Yeah. Broke a hamburger. Go figure. Uh, oh, those, uh, that little street like. Oh no. <gasps> oh my god, that's dramatic! Yeah. Anyway, that's the end of the stage, pretty much. Just oh. Put that down and then rest the bulb on it. 
Ooh, risky. As you can see, that stoplight in the upper left represents how many outs you have. So, three of those, and you're done. You're done, kid! Also, wow. funny thing to note, in the Japanese version, instead of level clear, I think it says something like clean clear, clear clean, something like that. Uh, and they probably couldn't do that because of clean and clear, huh? I, well, it's like Englishy. It doesn't make any sense. Mm. Anyway, press X. And here we see how the game is scored. It's uh, based around two things. One, how well you smash things, and I guess sort of your speed, maybe? And also, how much of an economic friendly, it, it, an economic run you do. <laughs> how, many, how eco friendly your run is. Right. Uh, you got a rank A. Even though you were going really slow and you didn't smash things really well because it's impossible not to be eco-friendly on this mode. Well, on this stage. I'm okay with that. You uh, you have to be trying in order to mess that up. <laughs> I imagine some people do. Some people, yeah. You know, if they want to go pure ego, uh, it'll become harder to eco things later. Like, much harder. I believe it. So... Relish that moment. <laughs> Relish that score, because you will not see that again. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, it's gonna go straight into the next stage, so if you want to cut that episode there, you're gonna need the boss. No. No? We're no. going straight into it? We do two. Two? Alright. Someone's got balls of steel. I can use them to smash things. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, the trash can has become big enough to fit people in it. And the first thing you're throwing away is a microwave oven. Indeed. This is, uh, this is gonna set up some themes about this, about this game. Again, uh, try and break these on the corner of the microwave so that they don't fall onto the microwave and you have to deal with shitty physics. Oh, yeah. Uh, this this uh, stage is also going to introduce something else interesting. Oh boy, what is it? Uh, you'll see it in a moment. Yeah, break that speaker on the corner of it. Flip it sideways, I think it breaks easier. I guess not. Corner. Yeah. Again, those shards, they're... Right. You take something metal or something wood, you break it, and suddenly it's made of cotton. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can... Nope. Just broke that thing in half on it. Microwaves are kind of assholes. You will learn to hate them. Oh boy. Like, well, now it's dead. I cannot break any. I cannot break it. Well, go break that pot with that chair. Close enough. Break the chair with the pot. Okay. Yeah. All right. So here it comes. Uh, tissue paper over there, right? Yeah. There are objects that don't really break, but are really easy to set on fire and this is oh one of my them. as you can see you have some matches there to play with this is the stage where it becomes important to burn things otherwise you're going to run out of space really quickly and you're going to want to start moving faster because you need to break things while stuff is on fire oh boy you want to keep that fire going as much as possible so that down key is now your friend. Please use it. Yeah, just throw that shit in there. Throw a walk in there. Who cares? Break that broom against that walk. Break stuff against that walk. You got. You need to make tinder for the fire. Uh, again, just because it won't like break, doesn't mean you shouldn't use the smash key. Okay. Uh, press, press down, right. Oh, there it is. Yeah. 
like if you wait for things to drift downward, you're gonna be here forever. So I see. Yeah. And that fire is almost completely gone. Like, luckily you'll be able to set a few more, but... Uh, it would have been good to keep that, as go that going for as long as possible. I see. Smash that doghouse with a microwave. Yeah. If it ain't broke, break it. <laughs> That's pretty much this game. If it ain't broke, find a way. <laughs> All right, we got another fire coming, so make some tinder. Uh, items that are not completely broken will still burn, but it'll be a little bit harder, I believe. I see. Just cram all that into the corner. Just put all of your stuff in one place. Uh, I sort of meant to turn that to make it more that way. It doesn't matter. It uh, literally does not matter as long as you get the... Uh, Oh, don't smash those. They're dynamite. You want to blow stuff up. Because it'll make it easier to clear. Or, you know, you can be less ego and more eco and just destroy the bombs. Right. Hold that. Oh, Otherwise, boy. you're going to lose it. I, or d I thought it was R1. No, it's L1. Oh. R1 just explain. drops things. Oh. And by the way. I got lucky. <laughs> yeah. By the way, press L2. Not right now. Smash that thing and then immediately do it. Or close enough. That closes the lid. What that does... Uh, it does two things. One, it kind of puts everything on pause. It's not going to try and throw more items in while you're holding the lid down. Right. Um, or while you're holding it at all. Because it's a little uh, sensitive, you can kind of like lower it slowly. Right? Right. And another thing that does is cut air from escaping so that, uh, you know, the heat builds up. Ooh. On the other hand, you have an oxygen meter over there that's currently at 100%, right? Yeah. If that reaches zero, the fire goes out. By the way, that katana over there yeah. is your best friend because much like in every anime, katanas cut through fucking damn near everything. So, if you have something that's difficult to break, like a microwave, which you can't really do anymore because you're covered in crap. Oh. But it breaks shit real good. Okay. And usually breaks in the process. True to katanas in real life. <laughs> well, that didn't stay in the corner at all. Uh, no. I mean, shit will bounce. If it doesn't like get a good smash right but usually not in a way that's too significant especially at these uh, easier levels okay so you got another bomb and a match still coming up um, on the other hand you don't have any Kleenex or uh, toilet paper so you might want to hold on to that like one of those Pl like place the bomb and hold on to the match stick I would do ah uh, flip that and just bash it against that computer. Screw it. Okay, put the thing away. Yeah. Just set that somewhere safe near something you want to blow up, like that computer or something. Again, set it down. Don't uh, bash it. But down will never break anything, okay. so don't be afraid to use it. On the other hand, that was a bad place for it, because now if you try to break the freaking computer, you're going to probably break that. Unless you hit it on that side, you're kind of lining the chair up with. Mm. Didn't work. That was uh, that was a crappy chair shot. Yeah. Kane would be disappointed. Ooh, wow. So when do I want to switch out for the match? Whenever you start seeing tissue paper or. If you want, you can chance it and try to set it near that dynamite. I would do it, because you're kind of fucking everything up over here. I'm sorry, coach. Just just put it down there. Just put it down. Yeah. Uh, there you go. It all worked out in the end. Yeah, it did. Just smash it. 
You want to be smashing, you want to be smashing at all times as possible. Keep smash up on every time. Go sit that near that fire. See what happens to you. Quickly, before it goes out. You, you oh, fucked up. I fucked up. You fucked up. I fucked up. I told you, you want to be quick. Stop, like, don't... That was that was sloppy, though. Yeah, smash. Yeah. Oh. Dope. <laughs> that guy just had a walk bounce near him. He doesn't even give a fuck. Apparently not. Shit exploding. Places on fire. It's like, eh, whatever. It's garbage disposal day. Again. This happens like every week. What the okay. hell? Um, physics. Okay, so set that down now. Uh, maybe hold on to that. Oh. You want everything to start burning. Um, and the explosive went off. Yeah. Uh, quick, uh, close the lid. Well, t uh, damn it. You want to, like, smash and close at the same time. Ah. That thing's now kind of propping the, uh... The, the lid up, yeah. so you can't close it completely. That that just ruined everything. It's okay, break it with the thing. Oh, don't forget to activate physics. Yeah. It's like a it's like a freaking pinball tilt. Yeah, a little bit. You gotta occasionally shake the machine to remind it that physics are present. Oh man, there was space. I was just kind of chanting. Check it again. Oh, sometimes shit moves, sometimes it don't. You're getting a whole lot of dynamite, but no, like, you're not keeping the fire alive, so you just have dynamite hiding in places. Yeah. See, that would have been a good idea to, like, keep that sideways, you know, minimize the space it's taking up. Right. Uh, boots are also surprisingly flammable, so just go put that with your tissue paper. Yeah. Oh, that didn't break at all. Oop. I'm saying. Typically, you want to keep all your tissue paper and stuff together. It's like, fuck it, you know? Right. And now I've covered the tissue paper, but at least I covered it with wood. Yeah. I mean, it'll probably still catch. Put that near the tissue. Oh, okay. Oh, I think you just broke the bomb. I think I did too. Yeah. That's why you don't want to put it right up against things. Like, it's got a pretty good radius. Try and shake again. This is... Uh, things kind of moved. Oh! That was very... I was fortunate. No, what the... Uh, break it against the microwave! Oh, yeah. The biggest, the best habit you can get into in this game is smashing the thing you just put down with the thing you just got. I see. Wow. Luckily that somehow broke before it hit the ground. Yeah. I, I guess that's uh, one thing to mention that I kind of forgot. If something breaks before it drops out of the trash can, that's fine. Oh, well, I'm, It doesn't right. count. Uh, okay, start putting... Before you get the bomb... No, no, no. Okay, fine. Let it burn. Close the lid. Throw the bomb in there. Close the lid. Okay, lift it. You gotta keep an eye on that meter. I just told you about it. Oh, yeah, it. the oxygen. Oh. oh. Shake it. Remind that the physics exists. Jesus. Maybe I like bomb? No, like the toilet paper over there. You still have some. It's under the microwave. Oh, or that. Shake it. Shake it. Try and get that toilet paper down there. Yeah, now close the lid. See if you can smash that somewhere. Not against I broke the, the bomb. Oh my god. Oh. 
That's the bad thing with bombs sometimes. Like, they will put out your fire if it explodes. Oh, I cleared the level, at least. You, you did it. I, I, I did it! That's the good thing about sweets. You can be sloppy as hell, do everything wrong, and you still get it. I did everything wrong? You... It's probably only frustrating for me to watch because I know what, like, half-decent play looks like at this. I did everything wrong! Not everything, but you did a lot of things wrong. <laughs> you let a lot of fires die. <laughs> Let's see that score. Oh boy. Let's see the ego pile up. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is. Ah. Uh... Hey, you protected that thing. You did it. That'll that'll put some points in your Oh no. I didn't know the bomb use was bad. Of course you didn't it is. Tell me the bomb use was bad. It's very bad, but it's the it's like the best way to clear the level, because otherwise you gotta maintain fire. Uh. I pretty much told you to use bombs only when I, you know, it was necessary. That being said, uh, it's quite unless frequently necessary. yeah, unless you're going for an eco run and you know what you're doing, just blow shit up. Fuck it. Ah. Uh. And the next stage will be next time. Yeah. On Button Jam. Button Jam. Button Jam.